Welcome to Wrestling News and Opinions Reaction to SummerSlam from August 23rd, 2015 at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. And this is coming off the heels of a very exciting and awesome NXT TakeOver Brooklyn show that they had just the night prior. You can check out a reaction to that. I thought it was an awesome show, but... Here we go with SummerSlam, and to start things off, first they had John Stewart out there, and Mick Foley came out. You know that was pretty cool. John Stewart always likes his comedy. He's a funny guy. You know the Daily Show and everything. He's finally done with that, and so it's kind of cool to see him show up here at SummerSlam. Earlier in the year, Seth Rollins had been on the Daily Show, and they had a thing. You know, and Stewart was on Raw and everything. So it was kind of interesting to see, you know, that they had done that way back when, and now to have him on SummerSlam, hosting SummerSlam. And, you know, and he came out there, he's trying to hype up the event in the card, and he was listing off the different wrestlers. And a couple of the wrestlers who he listed off were obviously the wrestlers that are in the first match of the evening. And that is, of course, between Sheamus, who has the Money in the Bank briefcase that we all know, and then the legend killer, the Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. So when, and he also said everybody else's names, but when he said those names in particular, he, what was interesting I found was that he said Sheamus with an emphasis that it was like indicative of why everyone hates Sheamus because they're pushing them down our throats. They are pushing Sheamus down our throats to the point where they told Jon Stewart, hey, when you say the names, make sure you put an extra emphasis on Sheamus to try to really get Sheamus over, really push Sheamus. And freaking, but of course, when he's like, yeah, Sheamus, everybody's like, boo. And he, he almost looked like as if like, he was like, oh, wow, they don't like him, huh? But anyway, but uh, you would think he'd be aware of that. And actually, uh, maybe he is aware of that. But anyway, Mick Foley comes out. And, you know, and so they're you know, talking about, I've never been to Suplex City. And then they went into the whole thing, you know, Brock and uh, Undertaker, a little, you know, video montage or anything. But anyway, so we got the first match finally underway. And it was Randy Orton versus Sheamus. So I guess they figured, hey, let's start off first with the worst match on the card. And why is the worst match? Well, it's the worst match because Sheamus is in it. Randy Orton, I like Randy Orton a lot. Third generation wrestler. He's one of the best. He's awesome. I actually was wanting to see him win the title a couple weeks ago on Raw. And that's, you know, Sheamus came in there and Sheamus, you know, robbed him of that chance. He interfered in the match. And so that, you know, set up this match right here. I guess Sheamus was like, no, uh, I want to win that title with my money in the bank against Seth, which wouldn't make sense because they're both heels. But, or maybe he's just like, yeah, that, he's a heel, I'm a heel. I got his back. I don't know why is he attacking Randy Orton there. Maybe he should have, like, waited till Randy won it and then cashed in on him. Would at least made sense, even though that would have sucked, too. But anyway, so, you know, you got Sheamus in there. And like I said, it's, I don't like Sheamus. And the thing is, I should. And the thing is, at one point, I actually did. That was quite some time ago until they ruined him by shoving him down our throats and specifically... Of course, WrestleMania 28. I won't get all into the details of that because I'm sure anyone listening is very well aware of what happened that evening. And that's personally why I hate Sheamus. They like turned me around on him. I thought it was going to be an awesome match. Anyway, I talked about it before, and you can go back and look at that. But anyway, with this, you know, we got Sheamus out there and Randy Orton. They actually gave him a lot of time. They wrestled a long match. And in, in the ring, in terms of technically speaking, you know, they're good workers. Sheamus, even, you know, he's just, as much as I don't like him, it's because of, you know, the entertainment aspect of it. In the ring, he's actually all right, you know what I mean? But, you know, he does his thing in the ring. He's sound. It's just the whole, you know, like his gimmick and just the way they push him and then that's the thing about it and like I said it really goes back to WrestleMania 20 but anyway you know Randy Orton I think he's kind of underutilized I think he actually should be more prominent you know he is to an extent but it seems like they just keep putting him on the back burner just kind of like shelfing him they're just like yeah we just got you you know over here but we're never actually gonna you know, like, they're afraid to give him the push, and I'm sure a lot of you know why, but I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, with this match, you know, as it went on, 
eventually Randy Orton, you know, he hit him with the RKO, but that wasn't enough to finish Sheamus for some reason, because, you know, they we just want to push the hell out of him and uh, shove him down everyone's throats. And then Sheamus, you know, he hit Randy Orton with some bro kicks. That, I mean, to the credit, at least it took a few bro kicks for him to beat Randy Orton, not just one. So it was like successive bro kicks. But still, you know, I... Phew, I actually, as the match was going, I was thinking like, oh, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Even though, like I said, Seamus I freaking can't stand him. And I was just like, ugh. I was actually, I was like forcing myself to have to even watch this match. Because I'm like, well, if I'm going to do a reaction to SummerSlam, and I am excited for the rest of the card, don't get me wrong at all. It's just this is the one match of the whole show that I was just like, Ugh, I don't even want to see this match. I wish it wasn't even on the card. It really doesn't, you know, do. And I'm, a lot of people feel that way. I don't, I'm not the only one. And of course, though, if you feel differently, go ahead and express that in the comment section below. Feel free to. I respect your opinion, whether you agree or disagree. And if you agree, you can also express your opinion as well. Don't not express your opinion just because it's the same as mine. Because it's probably got different variations and different levels. It's not going to be exactly the same, right? Anyway, so, you know, he beats Randy Orton. And he beat him clean. And I was like, what the crap? Man, when he beat him, I was just like, oh! Literally, I was like, oh, no! What? I was like, oh, oh, oh. Like, I was like, oh. Like, oh, my God. I can't believe it. I mean, I, I should have expected it, obviously, because he's got the freaking briefcase. But it was just like, ugh. I just, you know, I didn't want to really even, like, I didn't have any interest in this match to begin with. And here I am talking about it forever. But that was the start of SummerSlam. Sheamus beats Randy Orton in a match that nobody wanted to watch and that everybody was disappointed by. I mean, I, the one thing I'll give him some credit is at least he's a heel, you know, because, you know, I can't stand him. No one likes him. We all boo him. At least he's a heel. At least they're not trying to push him as a face like before and make him just like, yeah, he's... They were trying to make him John Cena before, but... And he is no John Cena, but, you know, at least they have the sense to have him be a heel but it's still like, what the hell? Why are these, like, yeah, we like the push heels. I mean, I know they always have, but the heels used to be cool. It used to actually be cool to like the heels, even though everybody didn't. But not with these heels. But anyway, that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions about this match right here between Randy Orton and Sheamus to start off. What actually... They like say this is the low point, but there's nowhere to go but up from here. And as it is anyway, the rest of the card, I'm excited for. So don't get me wrong. And don't think that I'm just like here to, you know, poo poo on the WWE or anything. You know, it's just I don't like shame. So let me know what you think, though. Thank you very much for listening. It is appreciated.